Hi, and welcome to your new Polycom VVX phones. The goal of this training is to guide you through many of the core features of your new phone system. To begin, let's look at how calls can be placed and received. To place a new call, select the New Call Soft key, pick up the receiver, or select the Headset or Speakerphone option. You can then dial the number or extension you wish to call. When receiving a call, pick up the handset or select the headset or speakerphone to answer the incoming call. Pressing the answer soft key will answer the call to either your headset or speakerphone, whichever has been used most recently. Once you have a call connected, you can switch between audio devices simply by picking up the handset or selecting the alternative device of your choice. You can also adjust the volume of your call or the volume of your ringtone with the volume buttons and can mute your microphone with the mute key. Whenever you have a call on the line, you will use the four soft keys at the bottom of your screen to manage the call. You may also use the transfer and hold feature keys to manage calls as well. To place a call on hold, select the hold soft key or the hold feature key. This will play on hold music for your current caller until you select the resume key to continue the call. To transfer a call, select the transfer soft key or transfer feature key. By default, this will begin an attended transfer. An attended transfer allows you to have a conversation with the party you are transferring to prior to transferring the call. Once you have pressed either transfer key, the current caller will hear on hold music while you dial the number you want to transfer to. You can also select a contact from the directory to transfer to as well. Once you have the recipient on the phone, press the transfer soft key to pass the call directly to their line. Alternatively, if you would like to transfer directly to someone's phone, you can use the blind transfer feature. To do so, press either transfer key and then press the blind soft key. Now just dial the recipient's number and the call will be transferred to their phone. You can also transfer a call directly to another user's voicemail box. To do so, press either transfer key followed by the feature code star 55. The system will then ask you for the mailbox ID you wish to transfer to. Just dial the recipient's extension and the call will be sent to the target voicemail box. At any point when performing a transfer, you can always stop and return back to the original caller. All you have to do is press the cancel soft key and you'll be returned back to the original call. To initiate a conference call, select the more soft key and then select the conference soft key. You can then dial the third party you wish to conference in. And once you have that third party on the phone, press the conference soft key to merge the calls into a conference call. Whenever you have multiple calls on the line, the call on top of the list will always be active while any calls lower in the list will be on hold. You can use the directional keys to select the call you want to manage and the soft key options will apply to whichever call is currently highlighted. When not on a call, your phone will default to the home screen. It is from this screen that you can access the majority of your phone's features. The most commonly accessed features are available as soft keys at the bottom of the home screen. Let's take a deeper look at these options. Selecting D&D will turn on the Do Not Disturb feature. When enabled, your phone will not ring, and any calls that come directly to your line will instead be sent to your voicemail. You can always tell when D&D is enabled by looking at the indicator at the bottom of the screen. To disable, just press the D&D soft key again. Selecting forwards will enable three types of forwards for your phone. Call forward always will forward all calls to a desired number or extension without ringing your phone at all. Call forward no answer allows you to set a number of rings, after which if you do not answer the call, the call will be forwarded. Call forward busy will forward your calls anytime your phone is set to do not disturb. Additionally, if you have call waiting disabled, this option will forward your calls anytime you are already on the phone. 
The Directories option allows you to access contact lists stored on your phone. There are three main directories to make note of. Your contact directory lets you save names and numbers to your own local phone for recall later. Any contacts flagged as a favorite will also appear within the favorites directory and will be displayed on any available line keys. Your recent call log will show you all of your recent missed, received, or placed calls. Note that viewing your recent call log will also clear any missed call indicator at the top of your screen. Finally, your group directory allows you to find users within your own company. From the home screen, you can also utilize the line keys located on either side of your phone's screen. These can be used in two different ways. First, you can use the line keys to monitor the lines of coworkers using the Busy Lamp Field service. Within the customer portal, you can add employees to your Busy Lamp Field list, and their names will appear beside the line keys. You can then see any time they are on or off the phone, and use the button beside their name to call their extension. These buttons can also act as speed dial keys for your favorite contacts. To add a new entry, press and hold one of the empty line keys. On the screen that appears, you can enter the first name, last name, and phone number, then hit the Save Soft key. The name you entered will now appear beside the next available line key. You can then press that key at any time to dial the person's number. To edit an existing entry, press and hold the key by the name you want to edit. You can then edit or delete the entry from the screen that appears. To access your voice mailbox, press the Messages key. The first time you access your mailbox, you will be asked for your passcode. You will then be asked to reset your passcode and to record your name. From then on, you can press option 1 to access your voice mailbox, followed by option 1 to listen to any new messages. By default, your voice mailbox will use a greeting based on the recording of your name. To customize your greetings further, select option 1 to access your voice mailbox, then option 2 to change your busy greeting, or 3 to change your no answer greeting. Your busy greeting will play anytime your phone is set to do not disturb, while your no answer greeting will play when your phone rings and you don't happen to pick up. Other phone functions can be found within the main menu. To access the main menu, press the Home button, which will toggle between the main menu and your home screen. Once inside the main menu, you can use the directional keys Select button and Back button to navigate within the menu. Here you will find additional ways to access many of the features found on the home screen. It is important to note that on some phones, this is the only place to select messages, since some models may not have the dedicated messages button. It is also here that you can access phone settings to change your ringtone, adjust backlight settings, and change your phone's background, along with other personalization options. Giving shape to ideas. Konica Minolta.